Uh, this was your guys' third match in, in in eight days, and two of those were on the road. Do you feel like fatigue played a played a role in this game? Um, yeah, I mean it was a long week of travel, going to Canada and then going to uh, Kansas City. I think, um, and you know I think tonight we just weren't sharp with the ball, um, in particular in that final third. Felt like a game where um, the team that made a play would more than likely get the result, you know, and they made a play. Um, but 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 again, I think, and this is what I told the guys is. It wasn't from a lack of desire. It wasn't from lack of effort. Love the way they pushed the game to, to, to go for it and, and, and win the game. Um, but again, I thought you saw a bit of fatigue. Uh, uh, you know, it just wasn't as crisp as it needed to be in order to, uh, you know, and I think if we, you know, we score one of those half chance goals, different game, different profile. It wasn't meant to be tonight. But again, I think, uh, you know, you, you, you've got to take lessons along the way. And, and, and whilst we felt like we could, Keep this, uh, you know, keep keep the performances in the street going. Um, now we have a motivation to get back on it. And do you have an update on on Chicho? And and then how does maybe this bye week that's coming up help you guys get some guys back? Maybe. Yeah, um, uh, Chicho's uh, he's is, the gash was ridiculous on his on his head. Um, so I'm sure he's in a lot of pain. Uh, and as far as getting guys back, you know, you know, and I think tonight too, we just. We miss uh, a little bit of personality out in the field, um, and you know Jay Glad's obviously hurt. Vera suspended. Ameko is sick, um, and obviously Chicho gets injured, and um, that's quite a few players, right? So the guys that stepped in there, I thought did a did a really good job, um, but but I think you know to win, y y there's there's we we just need a, we just lack a little bit of personality. Speaking about Chicho coming to him out so early, what was your idea or your, your approach to continue attacking on that position with him being out so early? Well, we only had one option, and that was Ando. That, that was it. There, there's no no other option. That's it. We, we went with what we had. There was a very easy. It was probably the easiest coaching decision uh, that we've had to make. Yeah, and what what was your talk with the group at halftime after uh, that? Yeah, again, I think just just tactically, I think our tens. Um, who typically occupy very good central pockets, um, we're, we're drifting out to wide areas, right? And so what we did is we essentially formed this, this umbrella of possession. But anytime we switched the ball, we couldn't find a central pocket in an advanced position to be goal dangerous. Um, and, and so that, that, that was the biggest thing for as far as how we were going to score a goal, right? If, if we rotate the ball, it's to rotate it quickly enough so that a wing back can find a 10 to combine off of a tend to turn, switch the point of attack. And I just thought it was really, uh, our, 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 the movement of the ball was a bit slow. Um, and then positionally, we just had to be in those spots to really exploit a team that was just comfortable with us having the ball. So, um, and that's where that possession stat is very skewed. It's possession to do what? We want to be, and where we've been really good this year is possession to create goal scoring opportunities. Um, so that little adjustment, and that's what I said to the guys, I said, you know, we, we can always fix the tactical stuff. We can always fix that stuff. What we can't fix is the mindset and the mentality that you guys ended the game with, which is going for it and, and not quitting and putting pressure on the ball. And so, um, you know, we'll be all right. Um, and then obviously getting some of these guys back will be, will be critical. At the end of the day, uh, these players are high impact players that have contrib contributed greatly to our team and also the, the level of confidence within the group. You know, you, you, you go right down the spine and you go Chicho, Ameka, and our two center backs. And, you know, that's why I'm proud of the group that finished that game, because it's not easy. Chicho obviously goes down, you know, early in the first half there, and then there was also like a stoppage there for quite a few minutes. What impact did the injury have on the group, and then also that stoppage as far as like the rhythm of the first yeah, half? Yeah, uh, it's never easy when there's when there's a long uh, a long stoppage. Um, yeah, and obviously you're 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 taking out the guy that's been kind of uh, you know leading this group. Um, so you're not only missing a a very important player from a results perspective, but you're also missing. The, the leadership and, and, and the, the, the energy that he brings to the game and the commitment. Um, so obviously lost a lot, but Ando's, Ando's done well. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously Chicho was a big miss tonight. And then obviously the, the winning streak, or the sorry, the unbeaten streak gets snapped tonight. Mm -hmm. Is there any sort of like weight that gets lifted off the group because they're not focusing on keeping that continuing on, but you can you know reset continue you know forward with a new streak moving yeah, forward you know again we don't really talk about streaks in, in the locker room um 
what we talk about is uh, improving our performance from the previous one. And, you know, going back to SKC, I thought we were really poor with the ball. Today I thought we were good with the ball. We just weren't, we were toothless in the final third. And um, so, so there is improvement. There is improvement from that perspective. Um, and then again, with, with the changes that we kind of had to make with, you know, Bodie and, and, and Oviedo on the back line, I thought they did, a, they, for, for 89 minutes, they did a great job. You know, and so um, there's a lot of positives to take from it. Unfortunately, uh, we don't get the result. But uh, to your point, I, I think it is a good reset for us. Um, at least that's the silver lining in, in the result. It's uh, nothing uh, is ever given. Everything is always earned. And uh, we got to be hungry to still be a top team in the West. And, 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 and so the next performance, we have to have the mentality, hopefully get a couple guys back. But we want to be dogs. We want to win this thing. We want to really make a push. And so this is, there's no better um, motivation in life than, than not get what you want. And we have a group of guys in that locker room that, that, that are hungry to be great. Um, and I have no doubt we'll get back on the horse soon. Uh, David James, nice. Late in the game, uh, Bode, you moved Bodie out to right back, and then he looked like he went up top. Was that something he was freelancing? Is that something you've worked on to get another body in the box pushing for a goal? I, I just don't remember seeing that. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's why we brought Quentin in. Uh, I think Bodie was, was, was gassing out a little bit. Um, Bodie obviously playing in the you know in the back line still has legs. He's been really good when he's played uh, a little bit higher up. So the, the the idea was get the ball to Bodie, drive, find Andreas, find Luna in the pockets, find one of the pivot, pivot, pivots, and, and keep moving forward. And uh, you know that chance that he had there at the end could have gone anywhere. But the fact that he was there again, just really pushing for the game and trying to create. You know you got to get numbers in the box to have a chance to score. Um, so that's that was the idea behind that. You were talking about lessons learned, and not just this game, but this week with the two shutouts and the way those two teams defended for a long time. The team scored a lot of goals, but a lot of them have been in transition, mm -hmm. and speed's been a factor. Is one of the lessons that you need a second attacker in addition to Chicho, who's really elite in tight spaces and on set pieces? Yes. I, I, yeah. Again, I think it's, and that goes back to the positioning of our tens, right? Because I think. What ends up happening is if he's alone up there and our, and our tens are drifting out wide, we're not asking any questions of the back line. And we need our tens to ask questions of the back line, not get on the ball. We want them to get on the ball in tight areas, tight spaces, to again, ask questions of their back line. Are they, are they gonna step up with a 10? And then do we have a darting run behind it? Um, but just getting on the ball to keep it isn't, isn't, isn't gonna create chances. So of course, we need, we need those guys in the box at all times. And I felt like in the first half, um, you know, Crooks got in there a couple times, but it wasn't. It's it's tough for any stri striker, right? Because it doesn't it doesn't dismark them from from the two guys that are up there. Have you gotten enough out of your set pieces this far in the season? Um, that's a good question. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how many we scored from set pieces, but but not as much as 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 we could. Um, and again, set pieces is always is two things: it's delivery and movement in the box. Um, and, you know, we can we'll go back and look at it. Um, but, you know, the guys, to be fair, you know, our coaches do a great job of, of preparing the guys. And, you know, the one thing that I learned as a player is that um, to score goals and set pieces, you got to be willing to do what Chicho did tonight, which is get your head block, shot off. And if there's any kind of hesitancy um, in, in the box, there's, there's no such thing as a good ball. So um, that, that's an area that we, we can definitely uh, improve in. Um, especially in tight fixtures like this, you know, it's it was it was a real cagey affair, um, and that's definitely an area that we can we can improve in. How do you think Nelson Palacio performed tonight in a rare start? Yeah, no, I thought he did well. You know, I think you know he kept the ball moving. His range of passing was good. Um, you know, so you know it was it was it was definitely a, a bright spot. It was good to see him get a run, see him you know play at home. Um, but you know, it'd be you know. It'd have been great had we had, uh, you know, Chicho out there as well to, to to help from that perspective and having another again personality. On, I just go back to this word is like, who's who's, who's going to carry the weight? Like who's 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 influencing the game in a way that your presence is strong. Um, but 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 overall, I thought he did did well. Pablo. Uh, 
¿Cómo manejar la psicología de tus jóvenes? Uh, veo a Andrés Gómez muy ansioso por seguir marcando goles y tal vez eso hace de que eh, Julio pase desapercibido. Él quiere resolver muchas cosas, Luna se desespera. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo hacerle para que, si bien es cierto, Gómez uh, hace goles y nos ha ayudado a, a ganar partidos, pero también en los momentos en que el equipo necesita, tiene que aparecer para que el equipo gane? Sí, no, bu buena pregunta. Yo creo que en este partido los jóvenes se jugaron con, con eh, queriendo hacer de más. Y, 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 pero eso es normal, porque los jóvenes no tienen la experiencia. Y en cualquier momento hay que tocar el balón para hacer el cambio al lado, de, al lado débil. Y a veces enfrentamos tres defensores y perdem, perdimos el balón con el equipo mal parado. Y eso son cosas que, eh, que toman mucha experiencia. Para, para saber los momentos, pero lo, vamos a revisar el, 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 el partido y yo creo que con cada partido vamos creciendo como un grupo y yo creo que eh, el, el Diego y el Andrés y Fidel son, son jugadores clave para nuestro grupo y los tenemos que ayudar, seguir ganando esa experiencia en el lado de cómo, cómo, cómo funciona el, el, el individual con el equipo y, eso, y esos son momentos Um, que tenemos que seguir a, eh, enseñando, aprendiendo como un grupo, pero yo creo que los dos han jugado bastante bien y nos, nos han ayudado bastante. Uh, so the question was, how do you manage the mindset and like the psychological part of the young players in situations like this? Um, Pablo said that it's normal for these guys to get normal and kind of do too much on the ball when they're down a goal, but that these three, specifically Fidel, Luna, and Gomez are a big part of the team, so that it just comes with experience, and that experience plays a big part, but they obviously have to help them get this experience um, to be able to learn this. Um, uh, ¿Puedes comentar del fichaje de último minuto de, uh, de Noel Calexian y qué significa eso para un jugador como a Hasil Orozco, quien no puede jugar hasta uh, que abre la ventana y ha regresado de, de su préstamo uh, exitoso en Irlanda. Eh, el Noel, eh, yo creo que empezó el campeonato en, en la pretemporada con nuestro grupo, ha jugado bastante bien con los Monarchs y, y como vimos e, e, esta noche, si, si necesitamos otro uh, mediocampista, un pivote en el medio del cancha, eh, en la Meca esta noche estaba, estaba enfermo, necesitamos por lo menos tres y yo creo que jugó bastante bien hoy, especialmente no saber que hasta ayer que iba a ser parte del grupo y para un joven entrar en este partido difícil y jugar, con, y jugar como jugó, estoy satisfecho con, con, con el Noel y Hasi, todavía el tema de Hasi es muy difícil porque eh, ha, ha estado con el grupo, yo creo, tres semanas, y en esas tres semanas no, no hemos podido verlo en posición que queremos porque siempre estamos preparando para el, 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 el próximo partido. O sea, está en el, el, el segundo equipo que, que juegan en la forma de, de nuestros contrarios. Y yo creo que con un poco más tiempo, eh, yo creo que puede jugar en este nivel. Um, pero también hay tema de, de, de you know, hay que hablar con, en la semana que viene voy a hablar con Hasi lo que él quiere um, en la posición que, le, lo más, que es más favorable para él para entrar en este grupo. Pero en los últimos tres semanas no, no he, hemos tuvido entrenamientos para él. Uh, está jugando con el grupo y hasta este momento está jugando bastante bien. Uh, would you like to comment on Noel signing a contract and then also Orozco? He's saying that Noel started the preseason with the team and that he's been playing well with the Monarchs and that he did very well for a player that didn't learn until yesterday that he was going to be part of the squad um, and that they needed another body in there since Emeka was ill today. Um, so to play the way he did is a very like complimentary of him because of the situation. And for Orozco, that they haven't been able to play him in his preferred position at practice because he's always on the op opposition team when they're practicing. Um, so that he'll talk to him this week about what he wants to get out of this. Thanks, Pablo. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thank you.